Yo, what is going on you guys? This is your host, All Gavin here, and I'm back to episode 19 of All the Magic Spellbound, and today we are going to be diving into some blood magic with one goal in mind, and that's to get the bloodstone bricks to complete the tier 5 blood altar, which is still a work in progress, apparently. We actually didn't even need to do it. Um, but it looks cool and we're gonna have all the in-game stuff done. So yeah. Uh, I need some string. Um and i've already gone ahead and started filling up the blood altar because we need to make these snares to throw at mobs to kill them okay so we're just gonna make a bunch of these till this runs out Basically what these do, we throw them at mobs, and then once we kill the mob, they will drop a demonic will. Which we need for crafting some stuff. So we're just going to get as many of these as we actually can, using two full sacrifices almost. And hopefully by then we'll be getting close to nighttime. Or we'll go to the other. I'll make 10 of these for now and leave the blood in here and keep the string on us in case we need to come back and make more. All right. So that actually gave us seven more. You want three of these. They will hold demonic will to use for crafting. One of these gems is used in the city at sword. The other two gems will be interchangeably upgraded. Okay. Um, we can actually go ahead and make this. Um, let me go ahead and get out the Hellfire Forge. Okay. Wait, what? Ecto. Hold on. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, okay, that's actually the Tartaric gem. Um, so what did I need? I need gold, redstone, lapis, and glass. All right, there's everything we need right there. And it's actually nighttime now. So that should allow some mobs to spawn. Here's one right here. Alright, there we go. We got one demonic will from that zombie. Then we can go ahead and go make this Tartaric gym. All right, so that's how that works. Said we needed three of these. So the will quality, it shows as 0.1 now. All right. I don't, I don't know if it works on mobs like the, these guys. Uh, does it not work on every mob that you throw it at, I guess? Because it just went through that zombie. Let's see. Anyway, I think we can go ahead and actually make, let's see, can we do it, this guy? What'd he drop? He didn't drop anything, okay. 
Um, so this is actually collecting will now. That's where the demonic will is going. All right. Next, we want the Sentinel Sword, which in the Hellfire Forge is done by one of these, an Iron Sword and the Will. So we just need to get an Iron Sword. Um, I think it just needs to be a regular Iron Sword. Wow, our last two. I, I, I forgot I need to go mining for iron. Boom. We got the sentient sword now. Next we can just get into this. Um So we we can actually go ahead and make this. We just need the slates and iron. So let me go mining for some iron real quick. Get these slates and we'll come back and make this. And then I think we can get into the blood blocks. Alright, I'm back. I got the iron guys. I got 61 iron. Um, we're just gonna smelt that real quick. Throw most of this stuff away. Uh, we needed two blocks. Right? Alright, let's go ahead and get this up here. That way we know what we need. So now we just need the orb. Which is the magician blood orb it needs. So that's just going to go right there. And then we need these slates, right? So imbued slate is a reinforced slate, which is a blank slate. Slate. So we need stone. I believe we need exactly two pieces of stone. We're going to go ahead and use our dagger to fill this up more and get started on these slates. Okay. Basically what we're doing, we're throwing stone on to get the blank, the blank slate. We're throwing the blank slate back on to get the reinforced slate. We're gonna throw that back on there. We're gonna go ahead and use the dagger again. I don't have any golden apples, do I? Okay. Now we're going to see if we have any golden apples. Um, reason being is because I need to be able... Yeah, here we go. We have a bunch. We would have two god apples. We'll save the god apples. All right, there we go. We're going to go ahead and let that regenerate. All right. Yeah, 
might need to keep doing this. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more for this last slate. I think... I think one more full health bar should do it. Alright, we'll try this. I think this will do it. Yep, there we go. All right, now we can go up to our little base. Go ahead and make these and get the alchemical, the alchemical reaction chamber. All right. Next one wants to get into all this stuff, but I think we can go ahead and make the bloodstone. Which is just large bloodstone brick, which is a weak blood shard. Okay, so we actually do need the Sanguine Reverter. So we need another imbued Slate. We can go ahead and get into this. Uh, and the Master Blood Orb. We need the Master Blood Orb. Wait, what? Saturated Tau. It looks like... Hmm. How do we get the Tier 4 Blood Altar? Blood bricks as well. But you need the tier four. Alright. So we need this. Which requires a tier four. We wouldn't even be able to make this. It would require way too much life. We wouldn't be able to do it fast enough. Okay, we're going to try to figure this out. First things first, we need this. We need granite. One piece. Shears. An iron ingot. And the stone. All right, so we have our golden apples on us still. We're going to go ahead and fly over this. Right. And now we can go ahead put our stone there. Put it back to get the reinforced slate. I think we might even be able to do this. Get the regeneration process going. And just because we're full health again, we'll go ahead and sacrifice again. Alright. So for the Hellfire Forge... We needed the one of the those. Uh, we need one, one. Or 
granite. Oh, the shears. Uh, 350 will. For this? Oh, 30. We need 30 will. Okay. We'll be back. I'm going to go get some will in the other. I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, we have enough demonic will now. Um, and this one right here. We're going to throw that up there. All right, what's what's going on? Oh, wait, do I need a common one? Common or greater? Okay. So I just wasted all the time. So I just, okay. All right. What I'm going to do. Is grind these out real quick. Okay, let me go home, let me get all the stuff I don't need out of my inventory, I want that there, because I want to remember those enchantments, because I'm going to put them on something else. Okay. Alright. We need a diamond. We need a block of redstone. We need a block of lapis. That's for the lesser one. Now. For the common one, we need a diamond, an imbued slate, and a block of gold. Let me just keep the stone on me. And then for the last one, the greater one, demonic sleep. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that one yet. So we can get up to the common. All right. First things first, we're going to need to take all this out, right? And the lesser gem. So, petty... Diamond, redstone, boom. What? Okay, it says minimum 60 will drain to 20. Are you joking? Is that this is a little tedious? Like, I have enough, but it's going to make me have more just so it can drain less. That doesn't make sense. Um, so, just because it's, this is a little bit of a tedious, time-consuming process, I'm going to knock out these two gems. And then, uh, we're going to move into getting the bloodstone. Um, so, we'll still be working on blood magic, it looks like, next episode. Uh, so, I hope you guys are enjoying blood magic. We're getting into, like, the end game stuff. It's pretty pretty cool um if you guys are slap the like button subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified every time i upload a new video i will see you guys episode 20 of all the magic spellbound hope you guys are enjoying the series take care